Hey there guys, welcome in Part 2 of our playthrough of uh, Betrayal at Krontor I was away on Friday, so uh, there was no stream on Friday and uh, I figured I'd make it up by uh, doing a Sunday stream instead I think I fixed the, uh, the glitch that was going on with the microphone last night It was a uh, uh, chopping, cutting in and out. Turns out the uh, cable was a little bit loose. I probably should uh, get another one, but uh, as long as I take the slack off the cable using the microphone stand, it seems to be much better. At least I didn't hear any of the crackling when I was testing it before the stream, which I usually do. I've uh, loaded up the game, it's ready to go. So, uh, really, no point waiting. We should really hear the game, though. Yeah, maybe it isn't here. There it is. As per usual, I've uh, turned the uh, meaty music up quite a bit, but uh, the sound effects are down in a similar way. It's uh, usually about the right setting for these games, although uh, with those games uh, they usually just set the mixer to whatever they like, so sometimes uh, you have to fiddle around with the settings a little bit. Now, uh, the sounds all the boy over the game. I don't know if I've done hey too. there, Graham. Away. And but uh, we'll the NAG crew, good, welcome in, guys. Thanks right. a lot for the huge raid. Guys haven't been in here before. I'm, uh, I'm sure that I usually stream uh, Wednesdays, uh, Fridays, and Saturdays at uh, 2200 UTC, but uh, I'm doing a wake up stream for Friday since I skipped that. Hey there, Kami, welcome in. Guys, aren't already following Graham? You definitely should. And uh, uh, Graham is the uh, chairman of the Norwich Amiga Group. He's been playing a lot of Amiga games here on Twitch. Great fun streams. Go and uh, give him a follow. We're uh, playing uh, Betrayal at Contour on the Retro PC, which is uh, AMD K6 300. Super Tower with a Roland SC55 sitting on top of it playing the uh, MIDI music uh, we just recently started playing this one we uh, spent most of our last stream reading from the manual this is only part two so uh, we've done very little it's uh, we're basically just starting the game Now, we had just been here to the uh, town of Lamut. There was some uh, discussion of whether that was a French name and whether it was uh, in fact going to the mud. This is a sort of a game from an era where uh, you're slowly uh, moving away from the standard uh, isometric or uh, or straight in front sort of view and into a pseudo 3D kind of view, but it's also before the times of the 3D accelerators, so it's a uh, it's caught in between. The path turned, luckily I started the road before them, so it slid it into the distance. Like a giant snake, before descending eventually into a large town, Lamut Owen said, do you think we should go in for supplies? Yes, we might as well. 
In many ways, the town looked like something created on an alcoholic bench. Root dwarven shacks matched up against delicate elven shops, while weird Surani taverns grew from a press of kingdom-style dwellings. Sign outside the city gate had something of well, all wizard Lamut are equal. Lamut all is equally queer. Indeed. Yeah, I'm doing a makeup stream. I'm a total gamer. Welcome in. I wasn't here on uh, Friday, so I figured I'd make it up to you guys by doing a Sunday stream. Now, uh, we were here last stream. Is it not? Hold on. I had to install an update before I got here, so of course something isn't working correctly. chat camera is at least working now. Let me kick the bot a little bit. Not hard though. He's just a little castle guard. Let's see if he's here. How does a penguin build its house? It, it glues it together. Yeah, we got a raid earlier from uh, Graham of the Norwich Amiga group. It happened just before you came in here, bringing Amiga Kami and uh, Graham and lots of other nice people in with him. We should basically get out of this queer little town, head back to the main road, and uh, see where to go from there. We arrived from here. How is the audio on the mic, by the way? Is it still choppy like it was last night? I uh, attempted to fix it. It seems the cable is a little bit loose at the microphone end. Okay. The cable is a little bit loose on the microphone end, so uh, I should probably get a new cable, but uh, I made temporary repairs for now by just making absolutely sure that the cable isn't being pulled. Let me just... Game seems a little bit on the darker side on the capture. Let me just... Uh, Just that, just a little bit here. It's a little bit better, a little bit brighter. Though the game is just a little bit dark. Now we came from the other direction, so guess we go in this one. The assassin was a mercenary, Locklear could tell by the hardened set of the marital warrior's face that he hadn't hunted them down to avenge a wrong down to him and chased them to collect a debt. He had come because the coin had been of the right color and the right amount. For that prize win or lose, he would fight them to death. Now, we haven't actually had an encounter in this game yet.
we uh, bring up a manual here which we spent most of last stream reading there's a lot of there's a lot of manual in fact pages or so yeah there is that uh, Wednesdays nights our world of commentary nights that's usually when we play the Amiga Although it does occasionally get brought out on some other nights as well. I'm wondering if I should even turn the contrast a little bit more up. It still seems relatively dark on capture. It's pretty dark on my monitor as well, but uh, if anything gets darker still on the on the capture yeah slightly better now controlling we have all the time in the world my combat is turn-based, so uh, no one is going to move until we make a move. And we can just uh, sit here quietly and learn how to do this properly. Let's see what the notes say here. Essentially what I've been saying here. Let me move it a little bit more into the frame here combat is turn based so there is no time limit for selecting your character action to move the higher the character into a new position move the cursor into the combat view and move it until you see a green highlight square okay That's how we move. Now thrusting, you can only thrust at an opponent who is within range. If the character has enough speed to reach the enemy in one combat turn, he is in range. When you position the movement cursor under your opponent, the cursor will turn yellow. Okay. Information in the box will tell you how of his chances to of hitting the opponent and how much space damage would be caused. Okay. Swinging requires a great degree of concentration and balance. You must be in position before this option is available. This means your character must be lined up vertically or horizontally, no more than one step away. Swinging will tire the characters. To swing, target your opponent as you would for a th thrust, but uh, click the right button. Okay. Let's see how we do here. We're playing as Owen right now. He's the spellcaster of the group. I suppose this is our enemy. Some compact spells available. We have despair thy eyes. Blind target for a short time. We have invitation which pulls the target towards us. A 
and the gift of some... I suppose this might be our best option. No, not a great deal of them and uh, in this era of those games uh, where the uh, ET sequencers had really taken over like the SC-55 it was uh, many companies would uh, not release these sort of games for the Amiga because uh, they required uh, a huge deal of disk space and uh, not a great deal of Amiga users had hard drives. I think that was uh, basically one of the major stumbling blocks. So okay, we um, successfully managed to cast some sort of spell on this guy. Yeah, most of these games have a, have a decently complicated sort of a movement and the uh, fighting system particularly the magical setup you need to learn a little bit around the game it takes you uh, a few hours to uh, sort of get acquainted with the controller interface and so on now we're not close enough to this guy to be able to really do anything our speed is four so we're too far away from actually being able to attack him, but we can move within range. Now we can uh, thrust at this guy. Damage of 17. But I'm doing a, a mix here of uh, thrusting towards the guy and uh, and swinging towards him as well with the with the aid of the right mouse button. So if I if I right click, I do a swing. It causes more damage, but uh, it's less accurate. If I left click, I thrust causes less damage but is more likely to hit caused quite a bit of damage now down the guy goes the battle was won search the body for supplies luckily suggested then amended but make it quick if there are more waiting out there let's not be here when they return Owen oh, check the corpse no sense being squeamish, he said, rifling through a rucksack which lay next to the body. Supplies are supplies, wherever you find them, this fellow won't be needing them anymore. Now, uh, this game is usual in the sense that they got a decently famous adventure writer that had published quite a few fantasy books called Raymond E. Feist to write much of a plot so it's a it's really a fantasy novel upon which a case game has been uh, ha has been made so it's unusual in that sense it has uh, lots of lore and uh, lots of backstory as well including many books which the author had already published at this point so it's uh, based in a in a fantasy world we spent uh, a lot of last stream reading about that lore and uh, how it how we arrived at the point where we are right now. 
yeah it's a it got crackingly good reviews it's generally considered yeah as one of the best role-playing games ever made and uh yes i also missed it at the time i've never played it so um this is the first time i've played this game got a decently good suit of armor which is good because owen had a fairly crappy set so badly damaged i'll take that we also have a sword here a broadsword condition of 63 the a little bit of cash We now have 11 shillings and uh, 6 rounds. It's basically, uh, I think it was 10, 10 rounds to the shilling or so. We don't really have a lot of money. We figured that out when we got to that town earlier that uh, we were pretty not doing all that hot in the money department. Don't really need this sword, but... Uh, I think we sold the spare sword that we had in town and uh, it fetched pretty much nothing, so we aren't going to be selling it. Let's continue traveling down this road. Might do a save here. It's getting very dark in the game. Might need to set up camp. Although we are doing pretty well in terms of health, it seems that uh, we lost very little health in that fight. Where does this paved road go? Sulfur stench was in the wind. This must be the MacMorton Cartel, Locklear said, his eyes glazing as he lost himself in thought. I knew that it was somewhere close, as I recall, Mac is dwarven for mine or cave or something like that. Now, considering the dwarves are no friends of the Morito, they might be of some assistance, assuming they don't take exception to Gorathir to investigate. Uh, I'm getting laughs. Yeah. Hey, Maybe listen, I should host in. the show. Thanks okay, for the host. Right. The tunnels were damp, though the silver seemed earthen. Though the silver seemed earthen roof, which stretched over their heads, was tall enough that they didn't have to crouch, or luckily I felt hemmed in by the shaft. I was privately thankful that the wards were larger than they were often given credit for in their legions. Do we have a torch? Yes, we do. Now we can at least see what we're doing. Sparks rocketed down the corridor, slamming Owen flat against the mineshaft walls. Luckily, had narrowly left for cover himself as something skidded along the rocky floor. Abruptly, the glowing cone of fire winked out of existence as it collided with an unseen wall. After several long heartbeats, the senior peeled himself away from the wall, just in time to meet the gaze of a short tree stump of a man. Bloody awful hammer, you would best have a demon in your bones. You have come to take a whack at killing the beastie, have you not? That's not our Bandok. Beastie. Beastie A, half a week ago we heard something fierce, a pain in the mind, terribly cold-like. Of course a dwarf knows the sound instant, whether he's heard it before or not, Bracknor. Because of every hole, Dweller since first wars took up hammers. 
I've never heard of them. No one has in quite a while that he, there hasn't been a Brachnor in the upper mines for well on since the long the great laid clay to the kingdom of the Isles. He thought we'd lay low a lot of them, but the kobolds are stirring them up on their quest. The kobolds? The folk call them gnomes, they used to worship a dragon, but lived down here, but when the dragon disappeared, he thought that wasn't folk, ate him away. Every now and again, their leader fate here takes an ocean to undertake a holy quest to find him. This time, they must have woke up a clutch of Braknor. Adhanor have collapsed the main passage and killed 30 of our kin. Give a reward to whomever can do it in. If you're out of a, if you're of a mind enough, the spirit that is. Interesting. So if there's a, there's a task, there's a quest to be had here. The barkeeper of the Blue Wheel in Nettlamot suggested you might be able to repair our armor. If we weren't taking ourselves out of this pretty mess, I we could do something for you, but we're all tied up to a man. Part of my saying so, but with problems a bit more pressing than dealing with dented armor. Might try a hermit but lives near Ox Hollow. He gained something of a repetition for himself over the past few years. If you can't repair our arm, but do you at least think you could do something about our swords? I hate to be difficult, but really in a crucial situation that you definitely I told you before, we haven't had time to go repairing things at the moment. We're in a crucial situation yourself, ourselves, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, we already played Lands of Lore here, and uh, we haven't played I of the Beholder 3, but uh, we will at some point. I wanted to play 1 and 2 on the Amiga, so uh, I want to play the AGA auto-mapping versions of 1 and 2 on the Amiga before we tackle 3. But, uh, we haven't played Ultima Underworld either, but uh, we did make a crack at Ultima 4 on the Amiga. It was, uh, the interface was a little lacking for, for modern day streaming. Uh, welcome in, Suspiria as well. I'm sure you would, just as I am sure I know that wars below would be willing to pay to get out from under the rock, it's a question of time. Look, if I show you a trick to sharpen your swords, will you promise not to be bothering anybody else in the mine? I think I can turn a handful of sovereigns to advantage in Lamotte and hire a few strong backs. Yeah, that would be pretty great, Nadur. You have my word of honor. I shall have to do, I'll teach you a quick little about weapon crafting, but I'll expect a fee of 50 sovereigns for my trouble. Do we have a deal? We don't have anywhere near that amount. Have you ever had the feeling that the gods were toying with you? You don't have the money to pay me. If you can spare the money, then I can spare the time. Simple as that. I'm not saying we're interested in killing a Brachnor, but if we're looking for it, what would it be like? Half again your height, and they're made of stone like living rock they are. From outer nostrils they breathe a green mist, but uh, be wary of getting too close to look. Or they'll drop a boulder on your head, sure enough. We already had a few bravos which came in through here to try to try a hand at killing the beastie. There's not much they've been able to do themselves beyond getting themselves so mangled they needed the help of a temple. Be as wary of them though, as I would be of the beastie. And none of them want else but then to claim the gold that we've offered to the creature slayer. Uh, way things have been going for us recently, perhaps we would do well to seek a little help at the temples as well. Where are the closest ones? We wars don't, wars don't do much stall outside the great towers of Stone Mountain, but as I can, there's a temple of Killian betwixt Soon and Ox Hollow. Okay, betwixt between Sun and Hox Hollow. I think there also might be a temple of Ishep here close, but I can't recall exactly where that would be. Fine. Thank you for the time, you know, I hope you can get things straightened out down here. We'll be fine as soon as we're through some of this rock and the Brachnor is laid low. You gotta keep us down. I think so, perhaps we'll meet again. Okay, is there anything else really to do in here? Walking around corners is a little awkward, must be said. 
Oh, it's easier done just by doing this than. Thanks for the follow, Bang will be welcome in. Look here, you We need to rest, he said, looking for a good place to camp. If we go much further without sleep, we might be able to, be able to handle any unexpected surprises on the road. Fine. left a bit I think we're doing okay yeah I've never played it before we basically just started it but uh, it's showing real promise I'm pretty sure we're headed for imminent doom here however Oh, and try the door. It's locked tight, he said. I think we should take a shot at opening it up. Suppose we could uh, try our hand at lock picking. We haven't done that before. Luckily, I frowned. I can try picking it, but I don't guarantee success by any means, he said. Slipping open the pouch of pick locks of our lock looks complicated. Doesn't fit, he said. Luckily, he shook his head. A lock maker knew what he was doing, he said. It's beyond my ability, I can't open it. Fine. No door for us. And uh, I guess we'll have to travel in the dark. Our torch has run its course. This is the intersection we were at before. Let's travel in this direction now. Hit it with a hammer, he says. I suppose that's a dead end. I see no way for us to climb up, at least, so I assume that's a dead end. Another fork here, let's go straight ahead first. Box is late, refused to budge. It appears to be locked, Owen said. Shall we try to open it? Of course. Why not? The lock was simple, as the old saying goes. Locks are for children and fools. Luckily, as said, after a few seconds, he flipped the pick locks into the air and caught them again. I am no fool. We'll take this. Any day. Some extra cash, or something we're desperately low on at the start of the game, it seems. Yeah, pretty much nothing in terms of value. So there are two ways we can go here. Luckily I smiled, weapons in hand, two men stood face to face, their stubble blued faces flushed as they exchanged loud insults. You may quake now, fellows have seen it before, luckily I said, I'll not be jumping in to save either of your necks, and consequently, I'll not be giving either of you my pouch. Very well then, smiled one man, we would do this the hard way. We're 
trouble now, aren't we? Perhaps the same box as before. Yes, it probably is. Yeah. Okay. The group shambled towards them, worshippers of Kaiswa, the Red Jot Hunter, the Grub Moot, in a disorderly clump. The hollows underneath her awakened eyes adorned with blood colored walls of pigment. Laying a three fingered hand, a ritual mutilation of the priestly cat stole a large figure rasped. Today, Kishwa Walton's statue shall be his prey. That's great. with Owen is that uh, when he can't cast magic he basically just has this stuff and uh, thrusting it basically does nothing so we'll take the chances of, uh, of him being able to hit it with a swing it causes double the damage at least This guy goes down soon enough, taking a beating here. This is a lot tougher than the first battle that we were in. being very lucky with our swings at the moment. Yeah. Finally, down he goes. Not quite as overwhelmed right now as we were just a moment ago. Down goes Owen. Hey there, Texas Foosballer. We're getting beaten to death here. escaped over his lips as he levered himself into an upright position and looked over his wombs. I think I'll meant the plan, Owen said. 
I won't have much while you go on without me. No one gets left behind. Luckily you shot back angrily. No one. Get your things and we move. Find a healer for you along the way who can help. How badly injured are we in fact? One of 40. That's not great. It's not great at all. We have three herbal packs. I guess we should. Fearing that an infection might be loose in the system, Owen attended to his various nicks and cuts with the contents of the herbal pack. While it wouldn't make the wounds go away, it would at least speed his healing. What did that do for us? Where is he at now? Still at 1 of 40. We have 10 of these restorative as well. We'll split them among the members of the party. Little caring of the liquid might taste, Owen took a swill from the wire and swallowed greedily a strange liquid, having an immediate warming effect in his hand and feet. Almost as quickly as many aches and pains began to subside. Owen has two of 85 total health points. <clears throat> That's not a lot. Now he has four. Now he has five. That's about what we can do for him. We're not going to have many more battles here without going back. Thinking only made it worse, setting aside his reservations about pilfering the fallen, he decided he would take what the goddess of luck had given them. However immoral he might feel about it, he was certain his stomach would quickly assuage his guilt if he found a bit of food to eat. What we have here, Dragonstone, as if some magic within the Azure Stone was awakened by God's touch, a dark fluid began to spill through a crack in the artifact's mottled surface and down the length of his arm. Where droplets contacted cloth they shied, but touched to smooth metal, it infused itself and disappeared. It wasn't Dragonstone used in the reparation of armor. me let's consult the manual here for a bit this is all about ratings and skills we're looking for items 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 Don't see this mentioned anywhere. Dragonstone. It's not mentioned here. On the short list that we have. I wonder what this does. No idea what this does, but uh, of course we'll take it. Also found another suit of armor. We can use that to our advantage. Quite a bit of gold. Another sword and another piece of armor in decently good neck. And, uh, what's on the third character here? A bow, that's actually pretty great. We'll be able to equip the bow that enables us to shoot at the enemy. So that's pretty good. Also some sort of key, some arrows for the bow. A little bit of food, which we'll share among the rest of us. Uh, suit of armor and yet another sword sort of sword is this this is just this regular broadsword same with this one i suppose yeah 
Uh, the food is very welcome. And this armor is in far better, better state than our current one. I suppose we save. Although that maybe didn't turn out all that great for us. Might use up the last of our torches as well. See where we're going. Another dead guy here. Found an herbal pack for curing infections as well as a suit of armor. door but this one either we have the key to yeah probably or it was unlocked where are we now big 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 room Nothing to see here really. That first glance at least. I guess we can uh, go up this passageway. Doctor gritted his teeth while they had agreed the box should be opened. He was privately concerned the previous user might have left behind an unpleasant surprise. sort of get the feeling that this is going to be a crackingly good game it has many signs that point to that this is another big big fight oh it is not doing too hot I think we might Skip that for now. The game doesn't really forcefully push you into having these fights. Uh, lots of fights we had in there as well. fight down this way as well suppose this is all to be expected yeah 
We need rest, we need to heal anyway. Let's um, set up a rest. We gained very little in the way of health, almost nothing. And uh, our stamina is his poor as well. I guess we can take one more. But, uh, we're still doing pretty poorly. I wonder if we should uh, head outside, try to find a temple, heal us up a little bit. Zoom the map out. This is where we came in, right? It is. There's the dwarf again. I don't know whether you'll be coming or going, but if you're looking for a way through the map to Alnatar, you're out of luck. Fault me if you will for courage's sake or call me a drunkard bull. Or of as fast a hammer hand as any under these mountains. I cannot clear away several months of Bracknor, Borang and I blink, you know. If Elvandari must see, then come back in a month or so, and perhaps we may have broken through. Or is there something else that you may be wanting? Yeah. So, get out of here. Taylor filled it in. This will be the way back to the main road, south of Lamot. Yeah. Let's get out of here for now. See if we can find a temple. We also need to buy some torches. Hey there, Gleaser. Welcome in. I'm uh, making up for lost time on Friday by uh, playing a bit of uh, trailer Crondor. They were being watched, unsure where their observers were. Now we need to be very careful here. We need to move Owen out of the way as much as possible. He is, as they say, not doing all that well. Our chances on the on a mix of thrust and swings. And uh, have Owen just walked. Thanks for the follow, my drugs. Welcome in. Let's 
also good blow 20 or so damage try to keep Owen out of the fighting he's not doing too hard at the moment now he's running away coward that he is a good blow <sighs> it was a mistake don't think we can catch him now yeah we can Him, but uh, I missed. I clicked the square next to him. This was not a tough battle, though. And uh, we'll. I have zero regrets about pilfering this guy. Nice. We found some whetstone to sharpen our blades. I'll uh, take that. A sword. And a suit of armor. Let's uh, drop this one. We we'll leave this one with the body. He can take the eighteen percent one. Some houses here. Tavern keeper greeting them at the door, guiding them inside to a cluster of tables. He produced a sheaf of papers which had been inked with the name of various goods and rings above, which had been written the name of the tavern, the green cat. Quite something, eh? The tavern keeper said in obvious admiration. It's to become the fashion in all the taverns and inns, I hear. I believe the word for it is a menu. Unfortunately, I won't have anything on it for a while. So, gents, can I get you a bit to eat? For now. Nothing much good to eat here today. Anyway, the tavern keeper smiled. Good day to you then. Yeah. What we really need. Some healing. The door swung open, bleary eyed, and smelling of alcohol. A 40 years looking man sneered at them. Well, what do you want? He shouted out with it. You were hoping you could give us directions. Directions? Directions? The man eyes blazed as he snared the wine bottle from the floor. I'll give you directions. Before Locklear could react, he felt the impact of the wine bottle against his skull. Okay, he seems friendly. Luckily knocked on the door of a small wooden house, then waited patiently for someone to answer. After several seconds, a woman appeared and ushered them inside. I don't have time to talk unless it's really important, sir, so I have to finish preparing some mushrooms that I picked for the shopkeeper over at Keges. He nearly ran out of healing restoratives yesterday, and you know what they say. You can kill me, but you can't eat me. Ah, that's a strange expression, Gora said, what does that mean? Tell the truth, I don't know, the woman replied, her face brightening with a white grin. It was something that Baron Kevin used to say. I never could make any sense out of it, now if you will excuse me, I really must be running along. You can kill me, but you can't eat me. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Is this the shopkeeper then? No. Locklear pushed the door open. This place is abandoned, got a set looking around the room. Maybe the occupants left something behind we can use. Let's have a look. Light bowstring, 
threatening his thumbs through the end of the silk bow stream, Gorond yanked as wildly as possible to test the flexibility of the court, where it seemed sturdy enough to handle the stress of repeated firings. He hoped it wouldn't disappoint him when he sighted down an ill-intended opponent. Take that. And the money. How is the bow doing, by the way? 84% condition. Yeah. Quarrels. Yeah. That's good. I think we checked all of these houses. And, uh, there is a house here as well. It's getting pretty dark outside. Can't see a thing. <laughs> How do we approach the front door of this place? Shop was closed. Catch them before for sundown, okay. Fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Try to have a decent night's sleep, although it will cost us food. Owen is now at a ten out of forty. It's not doing too hot. A bell rang. No sooner had Lockley managed to get the door open than he found the shopkeeper was escorting him inside. Cage's herbs. Lockley sniffed, rubbing his irritated nose. He struggled against the urge to sneeze, but the smoky interior of the shop made it hard to maintain his demeanor. More annoying, the smoke obscured his view of the vials and jars, which crammed the store shelves, most of which appeared to contain herbs and incense. Mm-hmm. This is basically what we need. We don't have any description yet of what this actually does. The only description is uh, this one that we read before. We found three of these when we killed the guys in the dungeon as if some magic within the Azure Stone was awakened by Locklear's touch. A dark fluid began to spill through a crack in the artifact's molded surface and down the length of its arm. Droplets contacted the cloth they shied but touched to smooth metal it infused itself and disappeared. I assume this uh, enables us to repair some of our items. Oh, this is the herbal pack. We have some of these. Oh, this just increases the rate at which you're healing. Uncorking the mouth of the oil skin, Owen poured out a small portion of the gold flecked lacquer into his palm and examined it, named it a type of impure brown glass common in Rilanon. was an ideal resin to use on crossbow strings when they began to lose their cohesiveness. Okay, so this is for repairing the bow strings. We'll take one of these. And we have... This oil cloth distributed once a year from the Temple of Tith. Oil cloths were often resold by the poor to any who would buy. Oil which was soaked into fiber had numerous qualities, though it was best known for its magical effects and smeared on edged weapons or on armor. Okay, more reparation. An emerald colored fluid rippled the length of the flute necked bottle as Owen offered it and righted it once more. A very light oil, it was used by soldiers to temporarily enhance the metallic qualities of their swords and of their armor. Okay. 
And we have True Side T, the T was a darkish grey black, brewed by the elves from roots unique to unique to Elvendar, the Connacht Caution had a strong herbal aroma and was often sold as a highly priced spice. So Owen Walu more its fleeting tendency to sharpen sight. Quality which our archer friend had once demonstrated. Okay. So this is a temporary accuracy improvement. A comforting warm blanketed Gorath as he shook the vial of restorative fluid at magical effects, radiating up the length of his arm and then down through his limb and torso. He would of course have to swallow the liquid to reap benefit of its healing powers. Yeah, we don't have enough to buy this. Everything is very expensive. We are very poor. It's a pretty poor situation. But uh, at least we know where everything is. Let's continue on our journey. Owen will heal. It will just take quite a bit of time. Let's uh, take one of these, speed it up a little bit. He's uh, so that he heals a little bit. I think the only real option to healing him is finding a temple. But we haven't been able to find one yet. Locklear swallowed hard, with his heart pounding in his chest, he watched the enemy creep closer, fighting the urge to turn around and run like hell. He forced himself to remain calm, forced himself to show no fear, despite the feelings of near panic that threatened to overwhelm him. Three of these goofballs here now. There are options in terms of magic here. We have Despair Thy Eyes. Can certainly cast that. Although we possibly shouldn't have drawn attention to ourselves. Owen wasn't doing all that great before this fight, so uh, right now he's doing very poorly indeed. Let's see if we can even make it out of this one alive. Not a given at all. Gasp escaped Owen's lips as he levered himself into an upright position and looked over his wounds. I think I meant the plan, Owen said. My wounds are mortal. 
find a healer for you, they say again. The party's abilities have increased. You leveled up through this mess. I guess that's nice, although... We really could do with a... Finding some sort of healing. This was one of them. There were others, right? Or was everything just on this one guy? How is Owen doing now? What is, he? is he back at basically one now? Yeah, he is. Fantastic. Yeah, it's basically just Owen that is uh, doing very poorly for himself. The rest of them are actually doing quite fine. Is this the temple that we're looking for? Incense swirled, striking between the colors of the temple. Lockly are made for the heavy wooden doors which have been sealed against the daylight. And which preserve the privacy of... Any ceremonies in progress, pulling a tasseled rope which hung next to the door. He awaited the response of the door warden. The meditation chamber was spartan and strangely cold, seeming all the colder for the heatless flame which burned at the holy censer. The only bow that had been made to a dormant in the temple appeared to be a strange pattern that had been etched upon the wall. The fire was cold. Unnerved by the unnatural flame, Lockley had decided to explore elsewhere. Okay, we can teleport. That seems useful, and we can also enter. Locklear pulled the curtains aside. The rear section of the temple was as dramatic as was the meditation chamber. A large pool occupied the center of a lush courtyard and was hemmed in on all sides by an alabaster peristyle with climbing vines. Cloistered immediately off the open area were several arches, doorways either blocked by heavily woven curtains or choked with clouds of obscuring incense. Nearby a gong sounded and immediately a priest hurried out of a doorway halting as he caught sight of the unexpected supplicants. Have a nice chat first. They were shown to a chamber. Here there were no flagstone or chip tiles underneath their feet, but instead a thick carpet of grass jeweled with dew. At the far end of the room, a pair of dew trees overarched a throne of woven reed, upon which was seated a striking-looking woman, her shoulder-length black hair bound by, by hand or back with a green cord. I am the High Priestess of this temple, she said musically. Killian welcomes you to her domain. Come be seated, listening with keen interest to the stories told by Locklear. The Priestess remained as motionless as a statue. At last she folded her hands in her lap and sighed heavily. That was most entertaining, she said. I particularly liked the part about the drunk. But I would advise you in the future to keep an eye on the food you eat. You shouldn't simply gulp down the first thing you find without taking a look at it first. Properly just then, luckily, shrugged his shoulders and promised he would be more careful in the future. She had it in mind when the high priestess escorted them from the room.
Owen was studied. It would require many hours of our time and even priests must find a way to pay for their needs. For your condition we will need many oils and candles, 195 sovereigns and 6 royals to cover the cost of our services. That's a lot of money. Okay, we're pretty screwed. But, uh, that's the temple. And how expensive it is. Where does this lead? Ashes were cold, wiping the grime off his hands. Luckily, shook his head. Some water or something obviously set up camp here. It's hard to say just when. Yeah. Night is falling here quickly. There's another shop here. Let's rest until the morning. His condition hasn't improved at all. See what we have here. Luckily I gasped, severed heads, spun in grey space before a mess, disembodied arms and legs flailed together with a sound, much like the clashing of kitchen scullery. Looking closer, he realized that the body parts were not, were not in fact body parts, but instead were tarnished pieces of armor that had been suspended from the shop's rafters. If they're careful, they may all come down on our heads. A gnomish man approached from the rear of the shop. A match held tight between his fingers. Should have knocked, nearly didn't hear you from upstairs. You can see why you came in, though, your armor's in quite a state. Another blow to your suit, and you'll look like those locked up there. I'll fix you right up. It's all the same. I'd prefer to buy an armor's hammer. I'm sure you would, but I'm not in the business of ruining my livelihood. I'm an armor, and I make a living in repairs. People go fixing their own, and I'm out of business, right? Everywhere, Locklear looked, polished metal gleamed, as much a temple to war as any temple of Tith. The cramped shop contained a startling variety of armor. Okay, now this is an armory repair shop. Let's head back a little bit to the store that we found earlier. Let's see if we can sell some of the swords that we've gained so far and uh, make a little bit of extra money we need a lot of money to heal up our friend but perhaps it would 
even be easier to um, uh, trade this doesn't want it doesn't want this either doesn't want this doesn't want this doesn't want any of it probably no okay our only chance of getting some money for these items would then be to uh, go back to La Mat, which isn't all that far off actually let's uh, just head there I think that guy basically would have I would have bought anything from us. Did I go the wrong way? I might have. Yeah, I probably did. Wondering if I should uh, take one of these before we rest. It will help us a little bit. Although it sort of seems almost pointless. Okay, we're being warned here, probably not going in the right direction. This is the temple again. that shop again the armor repair shop I certainly haven't ruled out just starting again nicer if we could find a way to patch this up yeah let's have a little rest uh, this is this guy again
It's actually very easy to uh, lose your way a bit and uh, go in the wrong direction when you come back. Surprisingly easy. Suppose this uh, is a circle here. Is it not? Yeah, it is. Stretch this back to this. Piece of road here. But it's very important now that we. We're very careful to uh, keep Owen out of sight. We have very little in the way of spells anyway. Focus very intently on him. The other characters are doing fine, they're barely sustaining any sort of damage, but uh, Owen is doing very poorly. Found a different sort of sword here, Morhydral Lampy, a uh, universal weapon that Morhydral Lampy was poor, in perfect balance. Classically difficult to control in close quarters and challenging for the shorter lipped kingdom soldiers to use. Okay. This is a not a decent, very good <coughs> piece of kit. This will uh, swap this out though. And uh, might. Swap this one out for this one. Leave the poor condition weapons on the other guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't know how Owen is staying alive. He's basically been that now for most of <laughs> most of uh, the entire stream now I become full circle this is Hawks Hollow okay this is town number two then Lockley pushed the door open. As he passed through, he noted a lack of a door latch, a sign the inn was likely chartered by the local lord to ensure the safety of travellers. Hopefully, 
<clears throat> it would also mean the inch furnishing would be suitable. Except for a thin strip of floor that led between the door, the counter and the stairs, a grey cowl of dust coated the inn's fixtures. Patterns of the inn seemed similarly stagnant as they glanced upon lazily from their mugs of ale and brandy. Take a look at what's available for sale here, it's just the uh, standard piece of uh, just the standard Russians and ale, oven coughed. You should see a priest about that, the woman said. How long have you been afflicted with it? Only just now. I have a small problem with smoke, Owen replied, gesturing to the corner of the tavern where a wood fire was burning in the hearth. I thought the brothers of Sung would be much interested, she nodded, staring into the dregs of her wine cup. <coughs> Unless you were mortal wound or a plague, or you've been stupid enough to fall prey to poison, I never found the priests out of much use other than to babble on about the trivial. The man scowled, apparently far more intent on something going on across the common room. He seemed uninterested in Lockley's repeated attempts to chat. At last, he glanced upon, glanced up and gave an ass exasperated sigh. <coughs> what exactly do you want? Just a friendly little talk, Lockley said with a companionable smile. News gossip and a song, perhaps. Or go and find a bloody younger than a leave me be. I've got better things to do than entertain every jackaboo that comes through the door. The night master looked tired. Seven sovereigns for the night, he grumbled. Though, if you lost my bets, I'll charge you double. Return you out at sunrise. Yeah, this is a. I think this is a crackingly good game, although we're not doing too hard at it at the moment. Turn you out at sunrise. Oh, there's a chamber pot in the corner if you need it. Shall I sign you in for the night? Let's see what it does for us. Luckily, I set it up the account. The rooms of stairs, the night master said, have a good rest. The room was cramped, shocking. Owen stepped over snoring bodies and selected a spot on the floor, which looked like it might be comfortable for the night, while Goroth squeezed into a bed already occupied by three disheveled looking men. Ah, the romance of traveling, Owen said with a chuckle. See you all in the morning. Luckily, smiled, still feeling lightheaded from his well earned sleep. He waited patiently as the Nightmaster turned from his office behind the counter. You seem to be in a good mood, the man said, picking up the guest register. Rockley replied only by nodding non-committedly, knowing the incubus might increase his rate if he seemed too pleased. Seeing as how you slept so well, how about another night, the Nightmaster asked, and just to show you how generous I am, I'll keep the same rate. No. Another time, he said, wrapping a knuckle against the counter, a bit of advice, however, you want more customers, I advise dropping your prices. Even the Empress of Cash would balk at what you're asking. That didn't do a lot for uh, <coughs> Owen's health, but uh, it did improve the other's health a little bit. We tried our hand at uh, parting, I guess we'll uh, have to try though. We won't get better if we don't try.
they really are doing very poorly in terms of health. Uh, we did find some Russians. I'll take the free Russians. Everything is uh, quite expensive in this game. A man in white up inside. Come in, my name's Lukan. He introduced himself as he slapped his guests on their back. Nice to meet you. I haven't had visitors in some while. You know, it gets kind of lonely up here and the kids don't come down too often. You have kids that are marble, don't you think? And luckily I seized Lucan's wrist and gave it a savage twist, forcing a shiny shower to fall from a man's paint fingers. <coughs> Everyone watched in shocked silence as the gold clattered to the floor. I almost didn't feel you napping that from my purse, luckily I said. You're not a bad thief, but not good enough. Don't kill me, Luke completed. Please, I don't have anything to give you, but I'll do anything. I'll teach you. What? Korath sputtered. I'll teach you. Yes, that's it. Luke said, his face brightening. Spare my life and I'll teach you what I know about locks, everything. What do you say? We'll take that. Locklear asked an eyebrow. Very well, Luke he said. May teach us, but if we leave here with any less than we came in with. No, 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 you have my word. Just sit here and I'll be right back. I'll go and fetch my practice locks and I'll be right back. Nice try, but no, you're staying here. Locklear pushed Luke into a seated position. Just tell Goroth where your practice locks are and he'll fetch them. Then we'll start our lessons. Having resigned himself to the fact that he wasn't going to escape, Luke lectured and demonstrated for the better part of the day before he set his practice locks aside. That's it, he mumbled, wiping perspiration from his brow. That's all I know. Good enough, Locklear said. I think we'll be on our way now. And Lucan, for your continued health, I would suggest that you get out of the thieving business. The party's lockpick ability has increased. We're still near death, though. But we can lockpick, so that's, a, that's something. Locklear knocked on the door of a small house and after seven minutes an angry woman appeared at the window and began to scream at them. Keep your bloody sovereigns, I've decided I'm not leaving. Why should we want you to leave? I refuse, you hear me, I refuse, now go away. Guess he's not leaving. Don't know why. Bell rang. No sooner had Locklear managed to get the door open and then he found the shopkeeper was escorting him inside. The lay of the good store was comfortably familiar, arranged in such a common sense fashion that it took only a few moments for Locklear to locate the items which interested him. Look at the prices on these things. Shades of blue and alabaster chased one another around the surface of a spiral shell, winding tighter and tighter until the colors became an indistinguishable blur towards the center. While such shells were not entirely unique, they were sometimes collected and sold by poor peasants. Ever for some keys as well. Do you want to buy some of this crap? No, probably don't, do you? No.
Guess we'll uh, spend some time repairing our weapons. Although I'm not sure what good they will do us. There's one house left, I believe. The door opened a fraction of an inch. Your hands are voice commanded. Pardon, what did you say? Luckily, asked. Show me your hands. The voice repeated from the darkness. Palms up, thumb out, and don't make any sudden moves. Faintly amused, Locklear complied and did as asked, standing both his hands for the stranger's examination. On command, he turned his hands over, again waiting for the adjustment of the voice in the house. You pass the voice in the house, pronounced at last. But this voice did not sound relieved. All right, then listen carefully and don't ask any questions. What was all that hand business about? I said no questions, the voice snapped. So this to say I know that you can be trusted with what I have to say because you don't bear the sign. You should be on the lookout for scrolls or anyone bearing scrolls. Read them carefully, they could save your life, be safe. Scrolls luckily asked why, what's on these scrolls, does it have anything? Abruptly the door slammed shut. Okay. That was the town of Hawks. Hollow Did we come from this direction or the other one? The other one. This is going back. These are the soldiers <clears throat> that killed Owen once more. A fork in the road here. And another fork. Getting dark. Another combat. This might be the end of us, really. Every battle is the same. Keeps trucking along, although he's doing very poorly indeed. Leave this. 
all the corpses pick this one up instead this sword as well decently good nick no cash though what's this Hawked at fairs and trading meats by the Brotherhood of the Shield of Dala. Dalatheim milk was really nothing more than simple spring water, albeit, albeit spring water blessed by a priest of the Defender Goddess. It was reputed to increase one's ability to defend oneself during combat. Okay. I'm still hoping we can pawn off these swords at some point. We really need to be able to do that. We'll leave this on the body and take a substantially better condition one with us instead. Take all the food we can get. And uh, how many of these did we have left? I'd give him one. And take one of these as well. Before we have to rest anyway. Brought him up to three, which is piss poor, but uh, slightly better than what it was. What does this lead us? When no one answered their knock, they peered into the hut through an unstained window pane. Inside, they could see bones thrown across the dirt floor like forgotten toys, playthings of a death god long gone mad against the far out wall. Eyeless skulls were heaped one on top another with no particular sense of order or orientation. What is this place? It's a charnel house where the graveyard fill up. They have to make way for new bodies. We bring old bones here. Let's go inside and have a look around. I've got a better idea. How about I stay out here and you go inside and have a look around? It smelled awful, covered with a strange green mold. The implement was rickety. Its fractured length held together with an assortment of rusty nails. However, it had been used recently, it's, it had seen better times. We'll take the shovel. We could use some treasure right now. To say the least. Locklear never had a chance to knock without mourning. A Moridor warrior charged them from the other side of the small house, prepared to be killed. Prepared to kill or be killed. Look out, screamed Locklear, renting himself for combat. This is bad news.
Circle that he missed. Trying to keep them from murdering Owen, which is a pretty hard proposition right now. running away I'll uh, let him we definitely aren't doing too hot battle was won Party's abilities have increased. We are gaining levels quite quickly, but found a bow in pretty much ruined condition. Another whetstone, some corals. Make some room here. Eighty two percent. That's actually decently good. <laughs> Fine. Good piece of armor, actually. Take this, at least. 54 and 40. 88. That's about it. Our health is growing poorer by the minute. So uh, we did win this fight. Yeah. 
think we already went up here. Full of food. Mm. Swap the bodies. Armor here. And the sword. Okay. Nothing here. I think very dark. Guess we should lay down for the night. What is still at three when you get this low apparently the only thing you can really do is a uh, visit the temple slowly restore your condition when uh when it's better but uh, once you get this low it's very hard to restore i have to remember that if this run doesn't end with us having to die anyway. Uh, save though, as uh, we've done quite a bit. Ah, uh, this is this place again. We've... Uh, gone in the wrong direction i thought it seemed familiar Town again, right? Hogs Hollow, yeah. I think we already tackled this. Luckily stopped and bent down to examine something on the ground. After several seconds, he stood and began to speak. There are wagon tracks, but something's not right. They look fairly old, but the marks are thin. Ordinary wagon wheels are about six inches. They couldn't be wider than three. It would be an ambush ahead. If we proceed in the direction we are currently heading, we should do so with great caution. So, rest. And uh, not go in this direction. And we have in fact been ambushed, but been ambushed by one person, which seems low.
We did okay, but the uh, Goroth took quite a few blows. Locklear isn't doing nearly as bad though. Actually doing fine. More food, which at this point we don't really need. And more swords. Guess we'll... Uh, guess we'll trade with the corpse. Which is uh, actually more difficult than it sounds. Because we need to get something out of the park before we can do so. Guess we could do this. And then this. Yeah, that's how we will proceed. Let's take as much food as we can. Perhaps since we have more food than we really need, maybe we should just camp for a long time here. Until healed seems stupid, since uh, that would probably take forever. The it seems that we are able to sleep for a long time with the food that we have. And sleep. For another 24 hours or so. That should be one pack of food then. The, I think we should perhaps consider sleeping for another 24. The, we're still doing okay food wise, we're pretty much fully stocked on food. A real problem here is Owen, because uh, he heals very slowly because he's so low. But the others are actually doing okay at this point. So again. This is something that we should have taken care of earlier in the game. It's just a... Uh, one of those things where you need to learn the interface to figure out how to proceed. Are we going in the right direction? I find this map actually quite difficult to use. You can't really... Uh, this is as far out as you can actually zoom the map. And, uh, it isn't terribly far actually. Lots of enemies. And, uh, we really have no choice but to fight, continue to fight.
not going to be restoring our save here. This battle has not gone well for us at all. We've done very poorly. That was less than great. Let's uh, restore. We weren't doing quite this poorly. We are not in the best of health, but uh, we've been worse off. Mist floated in the pass. This road branches a little further on, Locklear said. South it leads towards Eckley and eventually Krontor. To the east it leads through the Timwood Forest. Which way do you think we should take? Triple stall with only the occasional cold draft to chill their bones as they move through the pass. It was a relief to finally feel the more temperate winds typical to the southern reaches of the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Let's rest here. Finally, Owen is healing a little bit. Just takes an absolute eternity. And uh, it really doesn't seem to help when they're this low to rest a lot. But, uh, it does help for the rest of them. Locklear and Goroth are basically okay. Owen is not doing too hot still. What are we heading for here? Probably trouble. But an ugly mob standing in a semicircle, they waved angry fists as Locklear tried to smooth over the situation. Look, I don't think I know what the problem is, but I'm sure we can work this out, he said calmly. Surely we can come to some sort of peaceful agreement, don't you think? Unfortunately, the mob seemed quite insane. Who are these guys? These guys aren't nearly as tough, but uh, let's restore after this, see if we can fight this in a way that we don't end up in quite this situation. I think we can get out of this without actually losing much in the way of health. doing okay until I uh, 
Met a silly mistake there. What a easy this game is not. It's a uh, absolutely sure about that. I didn't actually mean to do that. We have to uh, finish this fight off before we can um, move on and restore. Definitely going to die here anyway. Yeah. It doesn't matter greatly what you do here. This is a bit of a strategy, more of a strategy than it seems. Okay. We want him to move out of sight as much as possible. Keep a defensive stance. These guys are good with the sword. Cause a lot of damage. They think we might be able to take them down. How did he go down? How did he go down? Ah, uh, I'm using arrows. Okay. Maybe we should as well. We have some. Restore and try this again. Like many role-playing games from this era, loading it combat is not a thing. Just have to uh, we won though, but uh, at what price? And uh, short of shows we can do this, but uh, like many games from this era, loading during battle is not an option. So, okay. It does seem as though we can't fire from the bow. We probably don't have it properly equipped. Uh, move, try to move Owen out of the way. Didn't quite work. And this is not a fight that we want to be having with these guys at all.
check our equipment before heading into this battle as well. Really can't have a battle where it uh Yeah, I'm glad we've uh surviving is one thing, but uh trying to make sure that the outcome is a little bit better for us. We screw things up pretty early and uh it's cost us quite a bit. Okay, so we do have the bow is here we didn't really need to do that at all why can't we why can't we fire from the bow We should be able to, right? Let's uh, fix his one. Don't have to move these over at all. How many restorative do we have here? Don't need this many. That's try to take one and uh, and that's Head back a little bit. See if we can rest just a little bit. Yeah, we gained a little bit. Now we're up to 16. It's not a lot, but uh, it's slightly better. It's not going to get a lot better than that for this particular fight. This might be just a smidgen too hard for us at this point. We might have to go back. At least he missed on the first strike. And, uh, To make sure he's very hard to hit with the bow. One down. Focus on that, you beast. Basically, just running around.
Let's see what we got here. Whether any of it is worth the damage we took to Owen again. We did find a lot of gold. But, uh, it would be substantially better if he hadn't died. Let's try this one more time. We came pretty close. I actually think I made a mistake at one point. The plan isn't terribly complicated. Probably a better place. One down. Leave him alone, you miserable sod. Manages to strike him, he's basically dead. be pretty close to death now. Although these guys can sure take a beating. I haven't been lucky in this fight, that's for sure. Finally this ape goes down. If you press R after every attack, you will regain hit points. Okay. Hey there, bloody characters, welcome in. Taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Basically impossible to do this with health this low.
Yeah. Doesn't really help us because we could rest for days with the Owen and uh, he wouldn't gain a single hit point. Uh, keeping him alive is really the problem here. We uh, made a mistake pretty early on which cost him most of his life and uh, we've been fighting to try to get him back ever since. This battle is a bit tough for us at the moment. I think we should uh, turn back, focus on battles we could potentially win while we slowly gain his health back. We have gotten him back from 1 to 16, which is, uh, I guess, an improvement, but uh, not really ready to venture into the big world quite yet. Did we already follow this path here? We might have. Yeah, we did. Been here, done that, got that t-shirt. Getting dark again. So, take the chance to rest. I see Owen is uh, finally, once we've gotten him up to a decently good level above 10, finally actually gaining some health when we rest, which is something that was not the case at all. For a while there. Luckily, I smiled, although uh, the approaching man seemed half a hand shorter for the passage of 11 years. His halting stride was still as personal to him as his signature ages past. Isaac had suffered his limp proudly, worn it like an injury sustained on a field of battle, and for that he had gained the respect and admiration of Kratos' young squires, luckily among them. His tragic expulsion from Arutha's court had been a blow to them all. The years have won. You well, old squire, despite the fact that it seems to have darkened your hair a bit. What did you do? Stick your head in a barrel of pitch? Squandrel, I would have thought you strung up for impersonating a duke by now. How are you, Isaac? It's been since Arutha's wedding, hasn't it? The very day, you should have heard the fifth master of ceremonies, the Lacy the lazy through when he found out I was in the court of Thornton's son. I dare say he would have tossed me over the palace walls himself if he hadn't been busy with the details of the blessed event. I've kept busy since then, spent the last few years on the road doing odd jobs along the border. You'd be surprised at all the things I've learned and seen since I've left Krontor. Surprised me then, you were always, always were a rumor monger. Well, what would you like to know about? I've just returned from a military assignment, it's imperative that I get south as soon as and, and as inconspicuously as possible. Are there any places you think we should avoid? At all costs, you will want to avoid the road from Egli to Tanners. There is a festival to be held in Egli, and it's likely your elfin companion will be spotted right away. What makes you think we're off to Krontor? Elves don't come much out of Almentar, and they are even less likely to travel in the company of a boy and a senior than they do take, would take to voyaging. Whatever you three are about, I assume it must involve the good of the kingdom. Krontor would be the only logical place for you to go. These roads seem littered with those anxious to anticipate our movement. Do you know of anyone in this area that seems to have unusual skills? Someone who seems like they know your thoughts? No, for a fact I can't say that I have, but a certain poker player that I lost a great deal of money to in Agli comes to mind, named to Devon. I believe it took me quite a while to make up the funds I lost during a single night playing against him. He really nearly took every sovereign that I'd made in a month's time. Fine. Not as much as I would like to stand about gossiping, I suppose we three need to hike back to the road. 
for Prince of Ruth signed out the search party. Prince is expecting you then. Please send his highness my regards. I shall take care of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Fine. It's a fight, but potentially one we could actually win. There are three of them. <laughs> Why do they always go after him? It would be nice if he once in a while managed to actually stab someone. Let's try to defend ourselves here. Basically screwed. the battle that we're about to have either let's continue down this path a bird shot into the sky searching the landscape for the source of the animal's discomfort Goroth whispered I think we might do well to pay attention Yeah, let's rest a little bit. Where are we actually doing okay? Why does Goroth have so few rations? As we have lots of them. Who is this guy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. 
this actually wouldn't have been I was dumb that's a restore you walked right into some sort of force field device so we did save just before walking into this yeah This is a good idea. I don't think there's really any other place we could be. He's too far. Maybe from here. Yeah. Okay, that at least helps a little bit. For wasting Carraros here. Down he goes, finally. of gold a few restoratives some swords although our swords are actually in decently good neck but, uh, we have quite a few of them 74 I guess we'll trade this and uh 80% armor.
take that as well. And, uh, move the 58 back up. Won't bother fixing armor. That is in poor nick. Guess we'll. Uh, I guess this is a better trade as well. We'll leave the 40% there. Yeah. Well, this was a good outcome for us. Made some money. How are we doing in terms of health? Been better. The resting helped. 78 out of 102, that's not too bad. 58 out of 87, Owen hasn't been doing this well for a long time. And Koroth is at 101 out of 127, also not bad. I find myself getting very easily disorientated in this game. I don't know why there is. Uh, this is where we were before, I think. Perhaps we should tackle this one again. a weak link and this is a tough battle for this crew still they're unexperienced they're not that strong This is not a battle we're about to have. I have no idea why that guy is running away. They're basically flooring us here. We can barely get a hit in. this battle right now restore let's continue along this path I might This is an ambush, but it's only this one guy. Let's blind him and then let's chop him down. Take that and that. 
have some of that as well. How do you like that for an ambush? Our accuracy improved a little bit. A little bit of money, a few quarrels. Let's give six here and the rest over here. It seems like a decently good armor, elven armor, condition 45%. Struggling with its complicated elven buckles, Gora tried to try the best place on for size. Too wide for him at the shoulders, he was nonetheless pleased with his clever filigrees and fine fluted scrollwork patterns designed to be decorative while also denying enemies a even striking plane. Yeah. No space anywhere. Can we use this to repair the armor? As if some magic within the Azure Stone was awakened by Wind's touch, a dark fluid began to spill through the crack, pouring over the armor. He treated it carefully, its power is renowned for extinguishing swords set ablaze with magical... Aha. Uh -huh. This is not what this is used for. At all. Okay. Not a... It is used on the armor, it seems. Yeah, it seems to affect the defensive ability of the armor okay so we did use it correctly fine how are we doing in terms of health not too bad actually what's this place A piece of paper dangled from the doorknob. At all costs, travelers should avoid contact with Orno, known widely as Orno the Pale, Owen read aloud. A contagion of unknown proportions has already led to the illness of three people. Avoid any contact with the door swung open. Him. Owen showed himself as a haggard looking man in his mid twenties appeared in the doorway, his face covered with a blanky, bloody handkerchief. You are Orno. Yes, he bees through this handkerchief and you are on my doorstep. Get away before you get yourself infected. What is wrong with you? Man shook his head. Don't know. Doctors don't know. Priests don't know. Nobody knows. Only person that survived is Michael the healer, but he's away so off in L'Oreal. I see Lockley has said, well, we'll be off now. Sorry to have bothered you. Again, the man nodded. I sure you will be. I sure of it. No one wishes to speak about it. 
No one wished to speak about it, seeing the glazed look in each other's eyes and sickly pallor each had begun to exhibit. It was more than obvious they had fallen prey to a violent plague. Silently, Locklear hoped they would reach a temple before they all died of it. That's great. Or plagued. Based on multiple events. Let us not visit the guy with the plague. Let's leave him to his plague. We can keep it. We don't want it. Is this one of those circles? Probably is. Yeah. That's the night that we just that we slayed earlier. So let's take a little break here. Owen is almost out of the red at this point. Which he hasn't been since we started this campaign. We're headed for trouble though. Is this a battle that we had before? At least three of these guys here. When his health is a little bit restored, he can actually run away. We've done worse, for sure. Now this is where our strengths lie. Let's blind this guy. Chop him to bits. How is it possible that you can't hit the guy that can't see? There, finally. he goes now he's trying to run away I have a solution for that don't think we can cast this right now too expensive to cast mm. 
Yeah, he managed to run away, but uh, we got two of them. Yeah, they're a bit, bit tough, and uh, we're also weak links. We're uh, very weak, particularly the spellcaster is very weak. So uh, we need to be careful. Very careful. Uh, every 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 sort of repair is also just a uh, crazy expensive, really. So, uh, The uh, healing up at the temple when he was low was uh, something like 120 gold, and uh, we've I think we've earned something like 90 so far in the game in total. So that's uh, pretty poor actually. I won't bother with that sword. How are we doing in terms of Russians? 24. A little weird how uh, unevenly the Russians have been divided here. Uh, we do need to rest. We regained a bit of health, we're still not doing all that hot. But, uh, we did win though. And uh, our condition is slowly improving, you can see our defense. Uh, is etching. And our accuracy in weapon craft is also edging up, it's slowly coming up. What is remarkable about this game, and uh, bears some thinking about, is the fact that uh, when you're not at full health, the our skills in almost any area drop down a lot, so... That means that uh, we're, we're doing poorly and that means our defense is lower and our accuracy and our chances of hitting the enemy are also lower. So in a way when it rains it pours in this game it seems. Are we going in the wrong direction now again? Might be. Yeah, this is the guy with a plague, right? Our good friend with the plague. Another enemy over there. Let's rest a little bit more for attempting to tackle him. Let's save. I think there's just a one of them. No, there are actually three of these guys. I wasn't expecting that, really. really in no state to be attacking these guys right now.
I really can't go get over how, uh, like in this situation where uh, we're, we're definitely injured, our accuracy is basically crap. It's a uh, 24% or whatever. So uh, our chances of beating the enemy are uh, close to silge. And, uh, we can't land a single blow on them. It's not perhaps that they're terribly difficult, it's just the fact that uh, our combat skills are severely lacking and uh, it's very common with the magical caster that uh, he is able to cast spells but uh, he needs to be a bit away from the enemy to be able to do so and uh, getting him far enough away from the enemy so that he's able, actually able to use the magic is a task upon itself. Perhaps we should rest another day before attempting this again. We do have this option of uh, restoring our, our hit points. Basically using our turn to do so, but uh, that also means that uh, we can't retreat to safety. Why don't you leave me alone, you brute? Guys are really doing a number on us here. Okay, at least one of them is actually down. Finally, we can use some magic. And uh, oddly enough, really, using magic comes at the cost of health and stamina, so... Uh, This battle has definitely turned to our advantage here. Although it would be great if the magical caster was also able to fire off a bow, which he's not able to do. This guy is hard to hit. If 
finally. He was alive. I'm sure, but it was skill or luck. I think it was luck that I won them with a fight. Luckily set aside his weapon. The party's abilities have increased, I'll say. We'll take the money. Let's take this sword as well. Swap this one. Take this one back. Uh, swap this one back as well. Yeah, yeah. Fine. You very rarely get to uh, shoot off these bows either. You uh, tend to be too close to be able to use the bow it's very rare that uh, you're far enough away to be able to use it we'll pilfer this one yeah I think we picked them clean. We're doing pretty poorly in terms of health though. Let's restore a little bit. I don't think sleeping more will greatly help us, although it did a little bit. Wasted some rations doing so, but uh, not a lot. How are we doing now? Okay. Is Owen actually fully healed? No, not completely, but uh, he's doing okay. And onwards we go. And what is this place? This is L'Oreal. Let's head here. Luckily, a rat on the tavern door. When it was apparent no one was coming to open up, luckily, a shrugged. Well, it would seem the common folk have taken Prince Arutha's law to heart. The doors only open from midday to midnight. Said with a sigh. But I suppose someone had to ensure the farmers were drinking when they should be in the fields. Sometimes he really does take all the fun out of life. A bell rang, no sooner had Lockley managed to get the door open than he found the shopkeeper was escorting him inside. We haven't really had the best of luck with these guys. They rarely seem interested in buying anything. Well, this one does. He's willing to give us two sovereigns and four royals for the sword. We'll take it. Uh, we'll go back and uh, pick up uh, all the huge amount of crap that we've left behind. We haven't we haven't found a shopkeep willing to buy any of these items for a long time. We don't really need to keep fifty of these items around. Doesn't want this one, but he'll buy this one. And uh we'll sell And, uh, we'll 
we'll go back and uh, pick up stuff that we left behind quite a bit of it actually plenty of it being able to sell helps a lot it uh, enables us to gain a little bit of money go back and sell this oh sorry buy and sell please buy my junk Obviously, the price depends a little bit on the condition of the item. Makes sense, but uh, still. All of a sudden, we have 120 sovereigns. A decent amount of money, actually. Not perhaps with the price of the items in the game, but still still quite a bit it's definitely gonna take us a while to grind through this game though I can tell you that much Did we finish off some guy? Yeah. Now he doesn't want this stuff. Uh, nobody seems to want this stuff, so we'll just leave it. Uh, he'll buy this and uh, we'll take it. Was there? Did we kill someone here? Yeah, this guy. Wondering how far back we should go. been a while since we found someone willing to buy any of this stuff so uh, it's uh, sort of tempting to go back and uh, try to get for whatever reason someone has gone to great deal of trouble to make certain we stay clear of the eastern side we found traps on the road leading east you assume those traps were laid for you perhaps they were laid there to prevent someone in the east from slipping west and see any real advantage in keeping someone out of hogs hollow or l'oreal you can see a very definite advantage to keeping someone out of lamott i think it would be better advice to move south and west away from wherever whoever is laying them yeah yeah We won't let a few traps stop us. We didn't see this before. Or I didn't notice it. Might have been too dark. A few trinkets here. That we were able to dig up. Sometimes it does pay to go back.
might not have been much in the way of anything up here not at least many fights might make it down to the main road again go back in this direction again what's this again this is hawks hollow been there done that Didn't we kill some guys here? No, apparently we didn't. Yeah, this was the armor repair guy. Been there, done that. There's the temple. We killed no one here. Just a bunch of ashes. There's the temple. We did knock off some guys before we got to the temple. There was a fight at the junction here with the, perhaps those bodies have disappeared might be a limit as to how far back we might actually go I remember at least that uh, we we were in a battle here there was a corpse just here that it's disappeared so perhaps that's lost to time we head back we've uh, at least managed to take a few more items that we can sell should help us a little bit as long as we don't need to buy a lot of healing we do need to be careful in battle not to lose too much health it's, uh, Something that we have to learn as we go along. I assume we'll find better spells and uh, weapons as we progress. But, uh, perhaps. Money is better spent on those than... Than paying for healing. Might be a better idea. That's Isaac again, or at least we know we're going in the right direction. Go away Isaac, we don't want to talk to you. Unless you have an apple and we can have a chat about gravity then. It was sort of funny how things turned out pretty much okay in the end for us here. We struggled for a long time on this stream, but uh, it's, uh, it's easy to get very low on health, but uh, it's also relatively easy to uh, recover it again if you're just a little bit careful and patient. You can sort of see that, but... Uh, We've stopped gaining health now and we've spent a lot of rations running back here, but uh, probably made up for it by the stuff that we are actually able to sell. And we took everything from these guys, right? <coughs> This was actually fairly close to L'Oreal, so 
getting close to the town again there it is so was it a short keep again sell him some stuff like this and uh, this and this and this and this and this as well how about this as well we have 141 i'll take that now what can you sell us 14 rations for seven gold he does have an armorous hammer with 25 uses oh definitely buy one of those to repair the armor It's a two-handed broadsword. It's very tempting, but uh, we really don't have the money. Might buy a bowstring. The rope could come in handy as well. Cassian Ale. I have no idea what that does. Uh, buy some torches as well. This is not a terribly expensive store. It's actually a very cheap store. Some things are more expensive than they have been in uh, in other towns, like these uh, Aventurine, which is slightly more expensive than what we paid. The most of these things are actually relatively cheap. And, uh, we gained most of the money by selling stuff that we already had. So that's pretty good. I'll take it, that's for sure. A thin little man greeted them at the door. I'm Kaifer Aleskuk. Have you come to buy yourself some gems? He questioned in a frail voice. Luckily, I moved closer to the door. We're looking for a rupee that may have been stolen by a group of grey warriors. Have you purchased any gemstones from such men? I don't know what you're talking about, the man said quickly. I don't buy stolen merchandise. You might try talking to a fellow I ran into north of Hawks Hollow about it. Name's Isaac, if I recall. The man looked about nervously. I'm uh, not open for business right now. You'll have to come back later. Before Locklear could say another word, Kaifer had closed the door. 24 excuses. The house's occupants. Our occupant was talkative, careful not to divulge any details about the trip. Locklear steered the conversation towards the townspeople. Everyone was Everyone here is fine folks, all except for Michael, the healer. I hope you're not planning to visit her. Why? Luckily asked. She's a snake, he said. Told me I was going to die, but you know what? I got better. Well, I felt horrible enough for three or four days and thought I was going to die, but now I made it through alive. I tell you, I think she and Orno the Pale have some kind of deal. He's giving them some kind of contagion and she's administering some kind of phony medicine. It's indecent. That sounds great. A nice racket here. Luckily knocked on the door for a long moment. He leaned against the door frame as he waited, positioning himself so he could listen for the sounds of any stirrings inside. When at last it was evident no one was coming, he stepped back with a shrug. It doesn't seem that anyone's about. I guess this is the healer then. No, no one's home. Is there something? Is there, are there some other houses here on this road? No. I guess we have to go back and have a little chat with our good buddy Isaac about the uh, ruby. Guess we'll uh, head back there now.
it's a bit of a way to track back but uh, at least we know the way Did you, by any chance, purchase a ruby from Kaifer Hall's cook in L'Oreal? He told us he sold it to someone named Isaac and the description he gave sounded like you. Why? You want to buy it from me? It's not like it's the only ruby in the world. The ruby he sold you was stolen from a Surani magician who was passing through Lamat. The garrison would like the stone back. We were hoping we could talk you into at least returning it to Kaifer to get your money back. I'm sorry to hear about your dilemma, but I had no idea the stone was stolen when I paid Kiefer's price and I have my own little problem. I need the stone so I can pay off a sword crafter and get my blade repaired. Can't you pay him with gold? He specifically barters in gems and the ruby will cover my costs, plus a little more. Should have enough left over to eat for a month or more. What if we can repair your sword for you? What here in the middle of the road? Since I don't have a workshop, I don't see that we can do it anywhere else. Well, I suppose my plate is fairly expensive and I'd hate to see it further damaged. It's conceivable you could do more harm than good. Unless you're really skilled at weaponcraft, well, do you think you're at the good? Shall we give it a chance? Shall we try? Good enough, your plate. Please be careful, I paid quite a bit for it. Well, I have this to say, you appear to know what you're doing, it looks much better than it did, and it will hold the edge. It cut up the whole of Telecan's Moss Rangers and I'd still be sharp for a month after. Well, it looked like you've come through on your end of the park and remind me to give you the ruby before you leave. So where is this miracle working weapon smith you were talking about? It might be worthwhile to go and have our own weapons repaired. There's a shop in High Castle called the Battle Works. It's a long way to go, but their work is impressive. As much as I would like to stand about gossiping, blah blah blah. So do we now have the ruby? We do. Now what? Do we track all the way back to Lamotte with the ruby? That's a, quite a trip, actually. You could try it, I guess. We better be handsomely rewarded though. <laughs> Trying to remember which way to go. I think it's this way. This was Hawks Hollow, right? Yeah. Might want to stop at the temple and see we're basically at 80%. We can't get to 100% if you remember from reading the manual without uh, using the temple to heal. So I might want to take a look now since we're passing it anyway into how much that would cost us. Shall we have our weapons blessed, guys? Could be worth it. 
could be worth it. We will improve the accuracy. Which uh, certainly seems worth it. Are we running out of Russians here? Not quite, but uh, slowly. Slowly we are. Now to remember which way to go. I think it's this way, but uh, I could be convinced that I'm wrong. Recognize La Motte. It has one of those signposts at the road to signify that it's a town. Guess we'll have to spend one more night on the road. I think this might be it. Yeah, it is. it with the rupees Didn't the guy say that the uh Yes, we are. Luckily, handed the ruby to Captain Belfort. I'm glad you found this, he said, placing the gemstone into a small, velvet lined box. It will be good to get my color off my back. I've sent so many men out looking for this plastic thing. There's hardly anyone left in the garrison. He retrieved a pouch from a locked chest in the corner of the room. Here you are, a hundred gold sovereigns. Thank you, gents. That's certainly worth it. Luckily, I put the pouch in his pack and they left. Well, thank you, sir, for the 100 sovereigns. I also noticed there is a cemetery off there in the distance. So, perhaps we should go pay that. Turning to Locklear, shall we take up this grave on our past? Just 
the body Hold on. we'll take up every single one of them though because uh we like gold look at this Can't get lucky every time in this. What the note? Not yet convinced he should take the time to read over the missive's contents. The could have started the yellowing parchment, but found nothing particularly outstanding about the ink in, it, in which it was printed or the cut of the paper. What does this note say? Absolutely nothing. Take it anyway. Nothing there. Nobody. Hmm. Someone has stolen the body. Another one. Okay, I think we've completed them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's actually correct. No, no, still no, no, let's get back to the main road, how badly are we doing for Russians, not terribly, at sleep, we'll uh, pick up some Russians in L'Oreal, or and, uh, or L'Oreal, there's a huge price difference. Russians over at uh, Le Mat were hugely expensive. Maybe they're a little cheaper here, who knows. Three gold, eight silver. Pretty expensive as well. Passing the temple again. Guess we should take a little break here so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to have to buy some Russians when we get to L'Oreal though. It was quite a hike, worth it for a hundred sovereigns, but still quite a hike. But, uh, considering that we just walked back to sell all the weapons. We sort of made this hike twice. I guess we could have Saved ourselves that bother. This is Hogs Hollow, yeah. This is Isaac's, yeah. Go away, Isaac. We don't want to talk to you. Just now.
Yeah, I got a pack. We walked right past it. No, no, this is the uh, this is the guy with the plague, right? Guess it's one more night on the road. There it is. worth of Russians so uh, what's our current situation here our melee accuracy is now 60% defense is 50 Picking ability raised quite a bit. How are we doing here? Still not fully recovered. Our casting accuracy is pretty good. Our parting has improved, although it's uh, still nowhere near good enough. Yeah, we're doing decently well. We've also uh, blessed our weapons. We've gotten crossbows for both of the the fighters and uh, found a bunch of items, regained some... Uh, got to sell some of these trinkets here. This is... Uh, I believe mostly useless to us, but uh, we can certainly sell it. This is not useless, we'll keep it around. It's uh, really not worth it to sell anything in this game that you can actually use. The uh, price you fetch is poor most of the time. But, uh, overall, I'm decently pleased with tonight's stream. We learned a lot about the of the combat system. Uh, learned a little bit about the magic system. Completed some things. Had some fights. Gained some experience and skills. So I'll take that. Wasn't looking too good there for a while, but uh, turned out okay. Yeah, it's uh, pretty remarkable. It's uh, sort of both. I guess you could remake this game now and uh, make it look pretty good. Yeah, thanks for coming, Glisser, as always. Thanks for sticking around, guys. I'm going to find somebody here worthy of a raid before we head off. Yeah, thanks for coming, Tessa Fusbuller. Thanks for sticking around as well.
Leeches is playing Dark Souls 3. I watched him play it, play it the other night. It's actually pretty good. So go give him a raid. He's a fellow team member on Sanctuary. And that general all-round nice guy. I'll set the raid up. Once again, guys, thanks for coming. And uh, Maniac Mansion on Wednesday. Until then, later. Sleep well, have a good rest of the night.